Hey folks, Pastor Jason here from Faith Bible Church right here in Violin, New Jersey. Hope you can join us this coming Sunday as we continue through the book of Mark, the Gospel of Mark. We're going to be at the last verses in Mark chapter 7. Jesus finds himself with two more individuals that he's ministering to. Um, one who is actually a Syrophoenician woman, a Canaanite, and then a deaf and mute man. And the, the two areas in which we're going to touch on an area of application in our lives is that persistency is important in our life in the area of prayer. Uh, many times we pray and we think, man, we've been praying for years and years for this situation, for this unsaved individual. We keep praying like, God, why aren't you answering? Well, this Syrophoenician woman was begging Jesus, a Canaanite woman, a foreign woman begging Jesus for the healing of her daughter who was demon possessed. We see from a pagan woman, a woman who prayed to her pagan gods. She knew who Jesus was. She knew what Jesus could do. And she was persistent in asking. And so we're going to learn this coming Sunday how we need to continue to be persistent in our prayers to our Heavenly Father. And then what we learn as Jesus communicates and his involvement with this deaf and mute man, understanding an individual of that stature in this culture was usually sitting in a corner in town collecting money, begging for money. He was an outcast. People did not associate with those individuals. But what we see Jesus doing here is very, very, very important. And we, what we want to learn is a personal touch. Jesus had a personal touch. He literally took his, uh, his fingers on his tongue and he touched his ears and his tongue. He had personal touch. You know, brothers and sisters, we need to understand that that's what it takes for us as Christians. The world needs to see our personal touch. We need to get involved with people so they can see the love of Christ, so they can see that we are serious about knowing them, loving them, and caring for them. Yes, we can text, we can jump on social media, all great things, but it's that personal touch that makes a difference. So I hope you can come and join us as we continue to go through and study this great gospel, the book of Mark. See you Sunday.